The SunSpec SVP dashboard is a software tool produced by the SunSpec Alliance. The SVP dashboard is an application that can be used to interface with implementations through a SunSpec Modbus communications interface. It can be used for development, testing, and maintenance of SunSpec compliant interfaces. It can also be used to create and manage SunSpec related artifacts such as product implementation conformance statements and information model definitions. The dashboard supports each step in the SunSpec Modbus certification process, including the ability to perform SunSpec Modbus protocol conformance testing. The SVP dashboard runs on Windows and is installed using the dashboard installation executable available from SunSpec. The SVP dashboard is licensed to members of the SunSpec Alliance. The SVP dashboard runs as a normal Windows application, but it is accessed a little differently than most Windows applications. The dashboard application runs as a web service when executing, and its user interface is accessed through a web browser. The dashboard can be accessed using either Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. The dashboard doesn't support access through Microsoft Explorer. Once the dashboard is started, you'll see this opening screen. This screen represents the web service that's running. If you close this screen, the dashboard will close. To access the user interface, you can click on the link in the window, and a tab in your browser should open automatically, and the dashboard screen will be minimized on the toolbar below. This organization allows the dashboard to be integrated into other tools environments and be accessed through its web service API to perform operations. This is especially useful for interfacing with the testing functionality contained in the dashboard from other testing environments. Once open in a browser tab, we see the dashboard display with the menu items above. In the top level menu items are device, tests, tools, and help. One of the primary sets of functionality in the dashboard is the ability to interface with a SunSpec compliant device through the SunSpec interface. The items in the device menu support operations associated with the device. The device menu contains open, close, create PIX template, create certification test, and export. To perform any of these functions associated with the device, the device must first be opened. We'll open a device in a moment. The create PIX template and create certification test menu items are used in the device testing process. We'll look at those in a minute. The last item in the menu is export. Export provides a way to save the data contents of the device to a file for later use. The test menu provides access to test suites that have been created in the dashboard. We will see how test creation works when we look at testing. The tools menu contains additional functions that are useful in the SunSpec environment. The first two items, models directories and update model definitions, are used when working with model definitions. The last item is DER simulator, which provides the ability to create SunSpec compliant DER simulators for development and testing purposes. And the last menu item is Help. In the Help menu are User Guide and About. The SVP Dashboard User Guide opens in another tab and contains information about all the available functions and provides tutorials explaining function usage. The User Guide can be referred to at any time for help and left open in the tab. The second item in the Help menu is About, which gives information about the dashboard including version, dashboard ID, which is important when getting the dashboard license, and the information about licensing. Now we'll use the dashboard to create a simulated DER and open it as a device. I'm going to start a simulator, which defaults to a standard IEEE 1547-2018 compliant implementation using the SunSpec DER information models. The simulator defaults to Modbus TCP on port 8502. The dashboard supports Modbus TCP, Modbus RTU, and an additional device called File. The Modbus TCP and RTU options provide the standard networking options for each. The third option allows previously exported devices to be loaded and used as device data. 
This allows simulated interaction with a device image for testing and debugging purposes. Using the device open option, we can interface with the simulator. We see the display window populated with two kinds of model information. In the top bar, we see the information model IDs of the models that were discovered in the device. And in the main portion of the window, we see the detailed information for model one, the selected model in the list. Each row in the table represents a data point in the model. There are three main columns of detailed model information for each point. The left column is the data point label and point name as defined in the information model definition. The middle column is the current value for the data point and the right column is the Modbus address of the data point and the data contents as it would be seen in a Modbus message. Looking at a more complicated model, such as model 705, which is DER VoltVar control, we can see all the points associated with the VoltVar model. Points that are writable have input fields that allow them to be updated here and written to the device on command. We can see this VoltVar model implements three control curves. Using this interface, we can examine and update all the points in a model. The dashboard can support all models that have a model definition, including vendor-specific models created by manufacturers. Now that we have an open device, let's look at the testing-related options. The two options associated with testing are Create PIX Template and Create Certification Test. When testing and certifying a SunSpec Modbus interface, a Product Implementation Conformance Statement, or PIX, must be submitted. The PIX is a detailed implementation statement in the form of an Excel spreadsheet that indicates which models and points are supported in the implementation. The dashboard uses the contents of the device to create an initial PIX template. The PIX template is then updated by the submitter to add any information that could not be determined by the dashboard. Once the PIX template is complete, the dashboard can dynamically create a certification test suite based on the PIX template. The certification test suite contains tests for each of the models contained in the device. The testing ranges in the tests are based on the supported ranges specified in the PICs for the points in the applicable models. When a test is created, it is added to the test menu. This menu contains a test that was created based on the PICs associated with the current simulation configuration. We can access the test environment by selecting the test in the test menu. The test environment opens in a new tab. On the left, we can see the complete test suite associated with the device based on its PICs. Within the top level suite, we see test suites based on each of the models contained in the device. Each model test suite contains a set of tests that are applicable to the model. Looking at the VoltVar test suite, we see the individual tests that are run. We can select any combination of suites or tests to run. I'll select the VoltVar test suite and run it. As the test runs, a result indication is given for completed tests, and a progress indicator shows which test is currently running. You're also able to stop the test run at any time. I'm going to stop the test now. The test results and the detailed logs for each test in the test suite are saved in a results file. The results files can be inspected later using the same interface with the same navigation capabilities that are available during testing. Here we see a full test run completed earlier and are able to browse the detailed test results. As mentioned earlier, the test can be selected and run through the graphical user interface or through the web service API, allowing the test selection, initiation, and results retrieval to be integrated into another test system. This has been a quick overview of the full functionality of the SunSpec SVP dashboard. Some of the functionality shown may require additional licensing beyond the SunSpec membership license. To get more information about any of the features, check for additional demonstrations and documentation on the SunSpec website.